Elimination of bullying has become a mandated requirement of all schools today. Yet scientific researchers have been discovering that the anti-bullying programs that focus on teaching students not to be bullies don't have good track records. They rarely produce more than a minor reduction in bullying and often result in an increase. So if you wish to give lessons to your students that will actually reduce bullying, what should you do? It helps to first understand why the typical programs aren't having impressive results. They are actually many reasons, but the most general is that they focus on teaching students not to be bullies and that they shouldn't tolerate bullying. People rarely think that they are bullies. Everyone tends to think that they are the good guy and the other person is the bad guy. So when we teach them not to bully anymore, they think it means, yeah, they shouldn't bully me. They don't think that the instructions are for them. And when they are informed how terribly damaging bullying is and that they shouldn't tolerate it, how do you think they respond? Does it help them handle it without getting unduly upset? On the contrary, they react, oh no, I'm being bullied. It's terrible. I must not tolerate it. So they get more upset when they're bullied. And when they get upset, they get bullied even more. The truth is that children don't need any more lessons on the importance of being good and of refraining from being bad. These lessons are coming out of their noses. They've been bombarded with them from all directions ever since they've been born. What students really need to learn is what to do when people are mean to them because it's going to happen throughout life. That's what's missing from their education. See, people don't suffer from people being nice to them. Their misery is caused because they don't know what to do when people are being mean to them. They're trying hard to make the meanness stop, but what they and the schools are doing usually doesn't work. In fact, if they're not making the bullying better, they're probably making it worse. To reduce bullying, all we really need to be teaching is how not to be victims when people are mean to them. When they know not to be victims, no one can bully them, and bullying dramatically declines. The most effective and moral way to deal with bullying is by using the golden rule. It instructs us to be nice to people even when they are mean to us, to treat people like friends even when they treat us like enemies. The best way to teach social skills is by role playing. We can try to explain something 10 times, but one good role play can be more effective than all the explanations. Don't think that role playing is hard. It is remarkably easy once you get the hang of it. Human beings are biologically programmed to role play. That's why so much of the play activity of young children is make believe. They love it. If you do the type of role plays we will be describing here, your students will love you. You will have them laughing hysterically while they're also learning how to solve problems. First, ask the class if they prefer to be winners or losers. They'll say winners. Ask them if they want the people in their lives to be friends or enemies. They'll say friends. Tell them you're going to teach them how to be winners and how to turn people into friends. The most important lesson you can give them is how to deal with insults because that is the most common bullying situation. Ask for a student to volunteer to play a game with you. Say, I want you to insult me, and don't let me stop you. When the student insults you, treat them like an enemy. This means that you should get upset, defend yourself from the insults, and threaten them that they had better stop or they'll be sorry. You will probably see them having a great time and continuing. Then give up and say, you did a great job. Now let's play again. Insult me and don't let me stop you. This time, treat the insulter like a friend. Be calm and appreciate everything that they say to you. Don't defend yourself and don't tell them to stop. You will see that they have a much harder time and may even become nice to you. You will have shown kids that it's entirely up to you if you get upset. When you get upset, they have fun and continue. When you don't get upset, they stop. You can do the same kinds of games for all types of bullying. Have a volunteer bully you. First treat them like an enemy, then start over and treat them like a friend. The lessons will be a great deal of fun for the entire class, and you will be amazed at how quickly the students get it.